What's up, everyone? Welcome to Cracker. Um, I had an unboxing, but this is actually like the fourth time I'm uh, taping this, recording it, because uh, a lot of technical difficulties and a lot of interference and, and all sorts of stuff, so I had to redo them constantly. So uh, I'm not going to unbox something, but I, I will show you what I got, obviously. Um, but first, we picked these up for Gizmo because uh, we like to have little placemat thing for him uh, for his water dish and stuff and uh, originally when we first got Gizmo almost a year ago uh, we had like a Tony the Tiger placemat thing for him because it just looked cool but we don't know what, whatever happened to it so uh, my fiance picked up like a strawberry looking thing and it just wasn't happening so these were on clearance at Target so we got this is for downstairs for Gizmo got the Avengers a little placemat for him and we got him for upstairs. We got him Batman. So now he's he's gonna be cool. It was only a dollar for these because they're on clearance. But hey, the cat's a dark knight. Um, all right. Now moving on. I got this from eBay. The shipment. I'll show you a lot of stuff right there. Uh, I'm amazed what I got and ha how much I paid for this. It's extremely extremely cheap. <clears throat> um, also, before I, I, I do that, I also wanted to say that the house hunt is over, and I will explain that after I show you this stuff. Um, but a lot of these that I got in this, this lot, this guy was selling uh, like six different lots, and um, one of them was like, you know, already up there with like thirty-five dollars, forty-five dollars. I was like, oh my god! And I was looking through it, and and I found this, and I'm like, wow! I was like, that can't be how cheap that is. I was like, it's going to go through the roof. I was like, there's just no way I'm going to get it for that price. And because um, a lot of times, like I know, I kind of, I kind of waved off buying uh, certain comics because it's just getting out of hand. Uh, but you know what? Let me show you the books, and I'll explain what happened to them, and then you'll get the uh, the idea. Got Amazing Spider-Man number 37, which I already have. This, this is now a double. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, this is actually in better shape than the one I have, so I'm probably going to switch it out. So that's number 37. Try not to make a mess here. I got number 39, which is another double, which uh, is still in better shape than the one I have, so I'm going to switch that one out. Number 43, which is another double, but again, better shape. And number 50, which is another double, but again, in better shape. And I know you're thinking, what the hell did you buy a whole thing of doubles for? What's the point? Aha. Uh -huh. To get to this, I got, uh, these are the ones that I needed out of the lot. Amazing Spider-Man number 27, which I got a chance to read, and it was really weird. Not like this mutated cat kind of thing. It was weird. But anyway, number 27. Number 29, which is another one I needed. And number 38, which is another one I needed. Now, the point of this, I'm going to give you a, somewhat of an example. This book on eBay, the minimum I've ever seen it go for is about 5 to $10, give or take. And this is all near mint. These actually, the guy was actually right the first time I've actually seen someone pretty spot on. These are pretty close to near mint, if anything. But um, this is normally, like I said, 5 to $10, give or take. Mostly 6 I see it for. Um, this one, number 29, the minimum I've seen it go for is $10. It's usually 10 to 20 sometimes even 30 bucks for this one, because they all claim it's low print run and blah, blah, blah. And then there's this one, number 38, which is the minimum I've seen is probably like 4 four to 8 bucks, give or take. Now, also, the guy, the way the guy sent it in the package, it's the way to do it. He... Um, put them between two pieces of really thick cardboard, taped it all the way around so there was no way that they could have flopped anywhere, uh, taped it to the actual cardboard itself, and put these little foam things on each corner so that even if it did move around, it wasn't getting anywhere. That's how you freaking send a package. Um, but anyway, now, what did I pay for these? And I was like, oh, you probably paid like $10, $15. Nope. I'm actually, I actually took a photo of it because I wanted to show because I actually got um, some messages from people saying that there's no way that I pay the prices that I tell you guys I pay. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you proof. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Hairball. Uh, anyway, 
What did I pay for this? I paid three, three something in, in shipping. I think it was like three. I don't know. Let me see. I got the picture. Three seventeen in shipping. I paid a dollar thirty one. Here's the here's the proof. Actually, you know what? Let me move this over. Oops. So you can see the proof. I've got a zoom thing. It goes away. Hang on one sec. There we go. You can I'm actually not gonna be able to see it. Son of a bitch. Alrighty. Well, well. Yeah, you, if you look on the corner, <laughs> you might be able to see it there. A dollar thirty-one and three something shipping. If worse comes to worse, I'll put the picture up if anyone really doubts me. But um, so there's that. So I paid a dollar thirty-one for this and three whatever shipping. So four, four something. Now that's just crazy. Like I said, like I didn't think it was gonna, I was gonna get that because like I kind of have forsaken Spider-Man. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Because the Spider-Man books, Amazing Spider-Man especially, are just going through the roof. It's getting out of hand. Uh, Uncanny X-Men, same thing. It's just anything with a movie. And um, sometimes I go on, on eBay just for shits and giggles, and I just want to kick myself and be like, oh, that's a great deal. Can't buy it, though. And uh, my fiance and I, like I said, we've been going for a house. So I kind of said, all right, I'm done. I'm going to stick with the newer Amazing Spider-Man as they come along, because then I can kind of you know, get that, and just kind of be happy with that, but I saw this, and I told my fiance, I was like, look at this, I was like, you know, look, it's a dollar thirty-one, and I was like, I'm going to put in a bid for two dollars, she's like, oh, no, don't bid on anything, I'm like, I'm not going to win, I was like, you know, I was, no one's going to, I was like, I'm going to get out bid real quick, because like I said, the guy had other lots that were, weren't really smart for me, because most of them, there was only like one book that I needed out of the whole lot, and the rest were like ten doubles, and I'm like, I don't want that. And then, I, like I said, I stumbled upon this, which was three books that I needed, and then the other couple were doubles, but they were an upgrade. So I was looking at it, and I was like, ah, it's not going to happen. I put in a $2 bid and left it. Um, I get up the next day, because normally I like to snipe stuff on, on eBay, because that's just the way you got to do it now. I get up the next day, and I won the damn bid. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. And I, my fiance's like, you won? I'm like, yeah, for $1.31. She's like, really? I was like, I'm paying more in the shipping than I am for the damn books. But... <laughs> So this is going to put a nice little ding in my collection as well because, the, well, not the three books could, but actually they can. Because now I'm only missing, I think, like two two books in the 400s, which is what these are, like 479, stuff like that. Um, I'm missing two books in the 400s to complete that section. Uh, so once I get those, I'll hit, I already have all the, from 200, I have all the 200s, I have all the 300s. If I get those two books, I'll have all the 400s. I have all the 500s. I need a lot in the 600s. I think I need like 34 books in the 600s. And then, quite honestly, I know in, from 100 to 200, there's quite a few money books in there uh, that are going to cost a fortune. But I figured if I can get um, all the 600s and the other two in my 400s, I'll be pretty happy because then I can kind of just, at my own little slow pace, I can just kind of go backwards from 200 down, well, 199 down. I think I actually have that too. Um, yeah, because most people know 129 is a huge money book, the first Punisher. Uh, 121's another big one, the death of Gwen Stacy. Uh, 101 has now become very sought after, which is the first Morbius. And of course, 100 is another one that's pretty big. <coughs> Sorry, can't get rid of these hairballs. Uh, so, but even that, like, my more realistic goal for myself is to get from 100 up and, uh, then start working on the annuals, which is going to be rough. Um, but I figured that's a more realistic goal because it, it's more plausible because, like Hippie Collectibles knows, once you get past the, when you get to the single digits or even in, you know, anything below 100, it, it gets pretty expensive now. Um, actually, let's put anything below 70 because that's pretty much, because number 50 is the first Kingpin, that's a lot of money. Um, number 20, first Scorpion. So, yeah, you know how it goes. Anyway, uh... Talking about the house, why I said the house hunt is now over. Uh, it's over because we're not getting a house. Yep. Uh, <laughs> it just sucks because I kept thinking of my. We found out this is just really crappy news. Um, and I told my fiance, it just sucks because no matter how hard we try and how hard we work, we don't seem to get anywhere. Just things are inevitable. Just you weren't meant to have it, I guess. Um, we narrowed down to the house we wanted. 
we called the real estate guy. We said, hey, you know what? We want this house. The guy says, all right, no problem. He's like, uh, you're all set. Just call the mortgage people again to make sure. Called the mortgage people, double checked our amount. The guy says, yeah, you're, you're good. You can get the house. We put a thing in for the house. The lady goes and accepts it. She's like, I'll, I'll take that deal. So I'm not going to get into too much detail because it's just making me pissed off. Um, <coughs> real estate guy says, hey, you got the house. We're all excited. We actually went out looking for paint samples and all these things, and we, we were like, oh, my God, we finally got them. And then yesterday, we get a nice little call from the real estate person uh, saying that you're not going to get the house because now the mortgage people do not want to give us a mortgage because my fiancé still owes some money to the, the government for taxes. And uh, the money that they want, we don't have. We don't have that much money. to. to that's why we had to do a payment plan with them because we just don't have that much money. They We paid them... Uh, close to four grand, and we still owe them another three, and uh, we just don't have it. We just don't have it because we were telling the, we even told the real estate people and the mortgage people that this is what's going on, and they were like, "Ah, hey, no problem, no problem, no problem." Uh, and we said that if, in order for us to have money to put down on the house, we wouldn't be able to pay the, all the taxes. So now they came back and said, "Oh well, you know, if you had a payment thing already set up and you already had payments sent to, <coughs> excuse me." sent to the government already and showed like a like a paper trail saying we're paying it it would have been different but because we just set it up it doesn't count so it's a whole bunch of BS so then our mortgage guy says if you can pay off the government then we can talk about the house and my fiance told the guy she said well if I pay off the government she goes I don't have any money in my bank account we're completely flat broke um, we have nothing and that that would be it we won't even have money to put down the house so then this guy got all pissed off and, oh, well, you know, you're wasting our time. It's like, no, actually, you're wasting our time because you guys are fucking douchebags. And you, this, it's just amazing. We went to two different banks just to make sure and they're all the same, which I can see because they're covering their ass because if you do get the house and the, you don't pay, the, you decide not to pay the government for some reason, the government can take your house. And then the bank is out of the house and the money, so, which I see their point. But, um... So yeah, yeah, that's it. No more house. That's we're done. Um, my fiance was pissed beyond. Uh, I was about ready to put my head into a wall because I was just so pissed off. Um, and now the the best part that just gets better is uh, we really have no other place to go but here. And we kind of talked to the people and we said, hey, you know what? If we if we rent it for longer, is there a better price? Because if we rented it for six months and they charge you more money if you rent it for less time fun, right? So now if we go for a full year and stay with that kind of a lease, they usually charge you a little less. But because of that, and because my fiance, we don't even have the money to move now, uh, because we're going to have to try to pay off the taxes, or pay them more anyway, because we don't even have the money to rent a van or anything, we're going to be staying here. And because of that, now we have to get rid of our cable. We'll have no more TV, because we can't afford it. I have to get rid of the WWE Network, which is going to sting because they're going to charge us. Can't afford it. We might actually even have to be getting rid of our cell phones because we can't afford it. And um, we're cutting back severely, severely. And uh, the problem that goes with that is because now I'm thinking, I was like, oh, crap, you know, hey. just keeps on coming. The hits just keep on hitting. <clears throat> um, I was going to start selling stuff, and my fiance's like, no, don't, you know, get that crazy, because I was like, you know what, I was like, if we, if I have to sell stuff, which I never thought I'd have to go back to doing, uh, then that, so be it, but my fiance is kind of like, we'll figure it out, we always figure it out, but now I'm, I'm, I'm I guess, I don't know, maybe a little more dedicated to try to get a, a, a job then, because I've been kind of, I've been looking, I haven't kind of been looking, I've been looking constantly, and it's just kind of like, it's just one slap after the other. No, we don't want you because your credit sucks. We don't want you because you're too old. We don't want you to because you're too young. We don't want you because you don't know how to do that. We don't want you because, you know, it's all no, 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 no. But now I'm, I'm at the point where I'm just going to start flat out flipping out and just starting. I feel like I just want to be an asshole because that seems to be the way you get things done, just by being an asshole. But that's not my nature, and I'm not going to let life kick my ass. Because you can get knocked down, and like they say, you choose to get back up. But life keeps knocking us right back down. But um, I'll tell you, it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna get to me. I mean, it, it hurts, it sucks, but I'm not letting life kick my ass. No matter how many times it's knocking me down, I'm getting up and I'm gonna say fuck you. Sorry for the language, but that's how I feel. 
because ah, it always just seems to be this giant no cloud that sits right around here. And whenever we try to get ahead in life, it rains. And to this point now, for the no cloud, I'm going to give it a big one of these, and then I'm going to double time it because it's not going to get me down. I'm not letting it beat me. Uh, I've been through worse shit in my life, and I will get through this as well. And if anything, it's a house. You know, that's it's it's not even the thing we're more upset about my fiance and I is that it it would be not that just it's just the, it's not the house itself because the house itself is just you know bricks and, and and walls and you know and whatever. To us, the symbolism yeah symbolism can't say it symbolizes. Let's use that <laughs> our placement, I guess. Like our our we can actually put roots down, I guess, because her and I when we were kids. Um, as well through our, you know, adult and teenage years, moved around constantly. She's almost got the same kind of background I have, where it's just, you moved around constantly. You were never in the same spot for longer than a certain amount of time. And, um, that's what was really upsetting us, because that was taken away from us now. Now it's, we don't have that permanent address, we don't have, you know, the, the I guess the comfort of it, just be like, hey, this is our house. You know, we don't, we... Don't put it down like, hey, we rent this, but we, you know, we don't own it, but we rent it and we live here. It would be, we own this, this is ours. If we want to knock that wall down, we can knock the wall down. If we want to paint this a weird color, we can paint it a color. You know, we don't have to ask permission for anything like we do here. And it would be nice to have my own mailbox. That would have been cool. But that's what we're most upset about, not just the house itself, but the fact that that was now taken away from us, our, our peace of mind, that it's just, we have at a permanent address. Like, you know, hey, if you want to mail us something, mail it here. Want to come visit? Come visit here. But, I mean, I, I can't really say it's over. Because it's, you know, like Slash just alone saying, nothing is over, just give me something to drink. <laughs> um, it just sucks because our money is basically just gone. Like, it just it's done either way because in order for us to live here, we're going to have to use it. Uh, so, that sucks. And, um, it's going to take a long time to save up the money we had, probably another decade. So I kind of made a joke to try to make my fiancé feel a little better because I was like, you know, well, we couldn't get one when we were in our 20s, and we obviously can't get one when we're in our 30s. Maybe when we're in our 40s, we'll be able to afford a house. We'll see. Uh, see how it goes. But, uh, thank you, everyone, for all the comments, uh, with the good luck towards the house. So we appreciated it. We, we did. Um, my fiance took a look. She's like, oh, these people are so very nice. And I said, yeah. I was like, they're good people on here. Um, oh, I must have forgot. I wanted to ask a question. This I was thinking about a long time ago before even all this crap came around. But uh, I was just curious because I really would just like to know what it's worth, if anyone knows, which I'll probably have to do another video to show it so we get a good understanding. But just for instance, because I know there's a lot of people on... on on this community and in, on YouTube that, that know about this stuff more, a lot more than I do. I have a Hulk mini bust from Bowen. It's his first Bowen mini bust Hulk, I guess. You know, the first Hulk he did. Uh, you know, it's him. He's got a white shredded shirt and, you know, the Herman Munster hair. I was just curious if anyone knows what exactly that thing might be worth. Because I've seen, I remember like 10 years ago, I saw it on eBay. It was like $800, and I was like, Jesus. Then I remember, like, about five years ago, it was $400, and then I saw it a couple years ago, it was, like, $600. I was just curious if anyone knows what the real worth of it is, because I was thinking I might want to sell that online, or maybe even sell it to people on YouTube, I don't know. Uh, but I don't want to rip anybody off, and I don't want to get ripped off. And I know, like, some people say, I just go on eBay and compare, and then come up with a price, which is okay, but... I'd rather know what it's worth to be able to gauge it a little better. Because if it's worth 800 bucks, you know, I don't want to put in... Or if I was selling on eBay, I don't want to sell it for $1,000 and have it sit there. Because then it's worth, you know, I'm asking more than what it's worth. I usually ask a little lower than what it's worth. Like, if it's worth 800 I'll probably ask for 6 You know, stuff like that. Or maybe even a little lower. Um, but if anyone knows about that, the Bowen Hulk mini bust, it's the first one. Well, it's not the actual first numbered one. Like, it's... You know, I think like number like 2000 something or whatever, but it's his first Hulk mini bust, let's put it that way. Um, so if anyone knows, please throw a comment in here and just let me know if, if you have any idea what it's worth. Um, 
I know I have I have the Thor one as well, the Thor mini bust, but that one has seen better days uh, because of the move and a couple of moves in general. Uh, his wings uh, broke, a couple of the feathers are missing, so and he's got a chip on his shoulder. <laughs> but um, so that one yeah went down in price. <laughs> but the Hulk I have perfect shape, a little dusty, but I have the box perfect shape and the thing itself. So if anyone knows, let me know. And uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna. I'm trying to look at the glasses half full with this because this isn't a bad place, this townhouse we have. <clears throat> it just sucks that it isn't ours. But now, because if we're going to be staying here uh, for a lot longer than a year, probably, I'm going to start unpacking. All those boxes, everything, I'm going to probably be upset because everything's probably destroyed in those. But I'm also going to re redo the room now. My cave is going to get redone completely because now that I know we're not moving anywhere, I'm going to set it up the way I really want to set it up and go full out, um, which I did make a video of, of the redo already, so I might put that up, and uh, then I'll redo the room and then show you what it's really going to look like, because on the video I have, I was saying I'm never going to redo it, because that's it, because we're going to be moving, but apparently that sucks, uh, so I'm going to have to do a redo and uh, really make that room kick ass, so uh, yeah. Thanks for letting me ramble and uh, checking out my stuff. And uh, please like, comment, subscribe, dislike, you know, whatever it is you want to do on this thing. You know the drill by now. Uh, I appreciate it all. Dislikes, though, I would like to see why you dislike it, but no one ever seems to do that. They just hit the little down, thumb down button and say, ah, I'm out of here. Whatever. Um, but thanks again. Man, it's uh, not the size of your cave that matters. It's what you have in it. Later, everyone.